welcome to Procedural Pottery Part 2. Let's jump straight into Houdini where we have left off after Part 1. In this second tutorial we will attach a handle with the polybridge node procedurally. I switch off the light and turn on wireframes to see the topology better. Hit the tab key and lay down a polybridge node. Let's have a look at the primitive numbers. I'd like to start with a handle the manual way. In the polybridge node click on the arrow for the source group, pick a primitive in the viewport and hit enter. Do the same for the destination group. Now the primitive number for source and destination can be found in their group field. Change the spine shape to curved, and depart along loop normal for source and destination. At the spine tab we add some subdivision. To pull out the handle we increase the magnitude a bit. Looks promising, but in a few situations the bridge is twisted. I found out that the explicit pairs, a somewhat hidden feature, can solve the issue. Explicit pairs are corresponding points. Let's turn them on. Scroll down to the bottom and create a pair with the plus icon. The first point will be number 61 and the matching point 145 on the other side. Other pairs would work too, 73 and 133 for instance. With the handle tool selected we see our explicit pair marked in turquoise. The source is green, destination red. At the pairing tab we switch the interpolation to linear. Now we have a straight bridge as expected. Well, the handle is a bit low. This will be fixed later. Now we have a handle for this specific amount of polygons. It doesn't work anymore when we increase the divisions here. We can fix this by defining primitive and point groups procedurally. With a group by range node we set up a primitive group and a point group for source and destination. To get the last primitive number of the geometry we can use the nprims expression. It returns the total number of primitives. We put 0 into the brackets to get the number from the current node. Since the first number starts with 0 we need to subtract 1 to get the number of the last primitive. Now we have selected one primitive for the source. Let's use the expression also for the destination group. To offset the selection by rows we just copy the division parameter from the revolve node. Our handle should start 7 rows above the origin. For the offset of the origin we paste the relative reference which we copied before. And multiply it with 7. We copy the expression. To reuse it for the destination group, increase the row number. Let's try one row below. Always the last entry in the list of the group by range node will be displayed in the viewport. By unchecking the last group we see the selection of the entry above. Now I copy the group name of the lower primitive. And paste it in the source group slot of the polybridge. Repeat with the upper primitive. When we go to the revolve node and increase the divisions, the handle stays in place. 
let's go back to the group by range node and create two point groups for the explicit pair. This time we change the group type to points. To get the last point number of the geometry we use a similar method as for the primitive groups. Here we use the endpoints expression, which gives us the total number of points. We put 0 into the brackets to get the number from the current node and subtract 1 to get the number of the last point. Repeat with the upper point. Let's see what point numbers we need. We just increase the number of the destination primitive by 1 to get the number of the corresponding point for the explicit pair. So let's simply copy the expression for the primitive. Paste it as offset. And add 1. In the viewport we see the selected point highlighted in yellow. Temporarily disable this group to see the other point group. Here we take the primitive number, decrease it by one row. And add 1. Again, let's copy the expression for the primitive. Paste it as offset. Add 1. And decrease the row number by 1. Now we take the group name of the destination point. Go to the poly bridge. Put it in the second field of the explicit pairs. Well, seems like we can't use the group directly. Let's try the point list expression instead. Zero for the current node. Copy the expression. Paste it into the first field of the explicit pairs, and change the group name to lower point. Works. One last thing. I want to set the destination of the handle a bit higher. To do so, I increase the offset of the destination polygon by one row. And need to do the same for the destination point. Stay tuned. In the next part of the tutorial we will create variations using copy to points. Thanks for watching.